Hi, I'm Tommy Newberry here at the Coaching Center, and today I'd like to talk to you about a pervasive problem and what we can do to solve it. First, here's the problem I'm referring to. Much of our nation appears to be confused, sad, and even mad. <laughs> Across all types of media, you can see and hear the negativity. Whether you flip on the TV, check your phone, log into Facebook, or simply glance out your office window, it's hard to escape. Do you know what I mean? Of course, being constantly bent out of shape is not a good place to be. It's not good for an individual, and it's even worse for a country, particularly a nation that is the beacon of freedom, hope, and optimism for the rest of the world. Yes, far too many people today are living in a state of constant frustration and seemingly perpetual agitation. As individuals, we can't live our best life when our emotions are out of whack like this, you know. And as a country, we can't rise above our collective differences and be a lighthouse for the world in the midst of such continuous negativity, angst, and turmoil. One of the reasons that I love sports so much and use it in my coaching is that they're a great platform for teaching life lessons. The principles or fundamentals of each sport are called the basics. In baseball, football, or lacrosse, the team that sticks to the fundamentals most consistently wins most consistently. In baseball, for instance, when a team drifts into a slump, the commentators often describe the poor performance as sloppy ball. And this simply means team members have strayed from the fundamentals of winning baseball. Even a talent-packed team of superstars, though, will uh, stop winning consistently when it fails to execute the proper fundamentals. And when we stop focusing on the basics, we can predictably expect to fall into a slump. But by refocusing on the basics, individuals, teams, and even nations can break out of slumps and get back on a winning streak. Unfortunately, too many individuals today seem to be ignorant about the laws of life and end up suffering unpleasant consequences. In other words, it's hard to get back to the basics if we don't even know what the basics are. If we're not aware of these timeless truths, or worse yet, if we choose to ignore them, these biblical life principles can kick in and become equal opportunity destroyers. Take gravity. If no one ever explained to you the nature of gravity and you accidentally stepped off the four-story balcony, you'd fall straight down, never up. It wouldn't make a difference whether you were a really nice person or a really mean person, whether you were rich or whether you were poor, you'd still go down. That's how principles work. They're ruthlessly non-discriminatory. Authentic principles, after all, are much more than mere thoughts, opinions, or assertions. A real principle is an irrefutable truth rooted in scripture that has a history of producing predictable results. Today, we're bombarded, really, from all directions by bogus and what I call counterfeit principles. Media outlets, prominent leaders, along with many teachers and professors, are steering us away from godly principles and toward trendy, feel-good perspectives on life. Clear and obvious truths are popularly mocked and cleverly undermined, and the contentiousness and turbulence we're experiencing as a society is the inevitable result of this, of, of people making stuff up. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Truth does not need to be invented. It already existed. And when you align your life with time-tested biblical principles, you experience confidence, joy, and optimism for the future. The alternative to this is what we see so much of today. Here's the good news, though. This is the solution that I mentioned earlier, and it comes directly from the Word of God. I've invested my entire adult life coaching and advising business leaders, entrepreneurs, and their families. Most notably, I've observed over and over again that when individuals stray from timeless biblical principles, trouble and adversity soon follow. Unwavering principles preside over every area of our lives and our lives as a whole. Like gravity, these principles are mostly invisible until you violate them. If you attempt to bend, stretch, or otherwise distort these principles, you'll set yourself up for pain and regret. Be aware that as human beings, we have a tendency to wander off away from truth. It's rare for people to abruptly break away from what they believe or 
what they learned and had ingrained in Sunday school. Instead, they typically drift just a little bit at a time. They drift slowly, one compromise at a time. So the really good news is that whenever people align themselves with biblical principles, their business and personal lives become more successful, more productive, and more enjoyable. I know it's politically incorrect, but nonetheless, it's unerringly true. God created a world of cause and consequence. He put boundaries in place, and the rules for living aren't up for grabs. Principles matter most. When you follow these principles, life is simplified. Follow timely fads and trends, and life gets complicated. This is true for individuals as well as nations. The quickest way to create a mess is to violate timeless principles. But the quickest way out of a mess is to realign yourself with God's principles. No matter how often you abandon them, they remain unchanged and unfailing. Although you may experience the natural penalties of poor choices, the right course is only a decision or two away. Today, there is an epidemic of negativity rooted in a crisis of thought. And this crooked thinking is responsible for a lot of stress and a lot of strife. Fortunately, there is a proven solution best articulated by the Apostle Paul in Philippians 4.8 when he wrote these words, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. This, this is a principle worth following. So let's share it with the world because our joy blesses others.